I need to prepare myself for 2023. New editing trends are coming next year and they will absolutely explode. All creators will take advantage of this. And if I want this channel to keep up with the competition, I need to do the same thing or the channel might die. So it's time to take action. The attention span of people nowadays is super short. So I need to take care of the pacing. Cutting away all the unnecessary parts of a clip, such as breaths or umps are super important, but that is something we already know. Let's say that you're filming yourself making coffee, for example. Now, it's super important to know what to cut away and what not. Here you can see me opening the tap, filling the container with water, putting it in the coffee machine, and so on. But is it really necessary to show every single step? When making coffee, water is important, so trim the first clip until it's only showing water streaming in the tank. Next cuts to me placing the water tank in the machine. Everything in between is not important. And do the same thing for the rest of the video. Cut away all the information that doesn't add value to the story. You know, just ask yourself, will the audience still understand my video if I cut away this part? Our brains will fill in the gaps for us. So this thing is already helping, but if I want to save Premiere Basics, I need to find a way to keep the viewer interested. And I believe I know how to do that. But first, you should know the technical side of Premiere Pro. And the best place to start is at my advanced Premiere Pro editing class on Skillshare, which is also today's sponsor, by the way. Now, I don't only teach, but I also watch a lot of classes on Skillshare, whether it's for learning something new or just to sharpen my skill. I'm someone who's easily distracted, even when I'm sorry, I was distracted, even when doing important work. Good thing is that I came across Lindsay's Holmes class called Productivity with Evernote. And in this class, Lindsay teaches you how to eliminate distractions, which then gives you more time to do creative work. Now she teaches how to find your pain points that occur during the day and how to solve them. I learned how to implement this in my own work. For example, when finding ideas, writing scripts, shooting video, or even small annoying tasks that have to be done. She gave me the motivation to be more productive and I can definitely recommend this class to anyone, therefore. Now, Skillshare is an online learning community with new classes added every single week. You can find thousands of inspiring classes and they are for everyone who loves learning and want to explore their creativity. It's the perfect place to invest in yourself, learn new skills, and work on your personal growth. And there are many topics to choose from. You guys are probably the most interested in film production, video editing, or cinematography. And you'll probably come across many of mine here and I really look forward to see you guys in my class. The best thing is that Skillshare is completely ad-free. This means no distractions so that you can focus 100% on the class that you're taking. So start discovering new classes now. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description down below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. But definitely check out the description down below for more information. Now, people are watching videos everywhere, even in public places. This means that they can't turn on sounds and a fix for that is to create subtitles, but that is very time consuming. However, I've got a trick up my sleeve to make that process super fast. Go to the window menu and choose text. From there, click on transcribe sequence. Choose the language that is spoken and if you have multiple speakers, you can enable this option down here. Then click transcribe and Premiere Pro will now automatically generate the subtitles for you. And it actually does a pretty decent job at that. You can always change the text from here if needed. Now, the subtitles aren't appearing in our video just yet. So click on the CC button to create a new captions track. Interesting now is that we can style the text the way that we want using the essential graphics. So you can give it a different color, a font and whatnot. Then from the track style option, you wanna create a new style preset so that it applies to all your subtitles. So you have subtitles now, but they are not optimized for social media yet. TikTok and Instagram has a user interface that blocks certain parts of your videos. But how do we know where exactly those UI elements are? Well, with your phone, just grab a screenshot of TikTok and then use that to create yourself a template. This gives you a PNG file. All I need to do now is make sure that the subtitles stay within that safe zone. Next is something that I haven't seen that much, but I feel very confident that this is going to be an editing trend in 2023. Same problem, people don't watch your videos with sounds. So your entire sound design is useless, unless there's a way to make people hear your sound without actually hearing it. I know it sounds crazy, but it's possible. For example, this hammer. Without the sound, this means nothing. So I take the text tool and click on the video. Type in a word that sounds like the hammer hitting a nail and 
voila. Now make sure to put it in the right position. That's where the sound is created and then let it play for a few frames. Sounds that are louder can be bigger texts, but if you have something quieter like a bird flying by, then make sure to style your text smaller. Think about the font size as the volume. But text isn't the only way to create visual sound design. Take a look at this guy getting punched in the face. Set a cut at the moment of the impact. Now you can use the transform effect and create a camera shake. Or you can also download our free heavy shakes preset pack from a link in the description down below. Once installed, drag it onto your clip and boom, look at that. Now there's one huge problem that brings me to the last trick. All of the previous tricks don't mean anything because I don't actually have time to make short form content. Maybe I should hire someone. No, wait a minute, I think I know something that can completely automate this for me. Here we have a video of a dancer, and I want this video to be vertical, but I don't have the time to animate the position, so we're gonna let Premiere do this for us. Head over to the project window and find the sequence that you're working in. Right click and choose auto reframe sequence. This will duplicate your sequence, but first you need to give it a name. Select the vertical 9 by 16 aspect ratio, and if you have fast movement, set the motion tracking to fast. For the dancer, default will be good enough. Click on create and voila! Now Premiere has automatically animated the dancer to stay centered. All there's left to do is upload this to TikTok, to Instagram, or YouTube Shorts, or what else is out there. However, all of these tricks are useless if you don't know how to create content that could make your videos go viral. So check out the video here on my left to learn more about some awesome TikTok effects that you can create. Thanks for watching and as always, stay creative!